so much great music come out in the last 10 years. It's the defining moment of the teens in the, in, in the music. I feel like in the 2010s, um, for female musicians in the industry, um, it became less about sexualization. Definitely like Drake and stuff like that. And like, I reckon Post Malone as well. I reckon he's here to stay. And the, the rise of hip hop in Australia has been a, a big thing for us. Yeah, like people like Billie Eilish and Lizzo just completely blowing up and dominating at the Grammys. And this year, seeing the Grammys has so many female uh, nominees. To me, that is a really great moment. I think it's the rise of the women. Yeah. Music. I think that's Rise what's going on. It's been a great decade for that. And and when when uh, we first started coming to the Aries as this uh, you know generation of the Wiggles, there was so much about Flume at that time, and the music industry changed then because it started becoming electronic. And I think that's really sent a pathway for everybody at home to try and get out there. The sort of moving to streaming and, and the, the, the huge changes in the in the music industry to do with with that, you know, the physical sort of CDs and things dying off. The defining moment will be the variety of music. I think in 2020. Uh, the Gotia song wasn't more than 10 years ago, right? I feel like I feel like that was a huge moment for me. Well, probably about Peking Duck, don't you think? You know who Peking Duck are? You don't, do you? When I think of the 2010s, <laughs> I would think of the evolution of dance music. Probably Drake. I think oh, he'd yeah. be one of the most defining things of 20, the 2010s. Uh, music streaming that really kind of exploded in the 2010s. I get super proud when I'm travelling around the world and I hear other Australians on the radio and so that huge song that Gaultier had I think will go down in history.